Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today is the 8th of January. Today is 2017, or at least that's what they tell us. At any rate, you're looking at a picture of one of the more famous physicists, Dr. Stephen Hawking. Now, many people, and I, I probably, I'm probably going to go along with it, many people think that Stephen Hawking is not alive or not anything that they claim whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't make sense. The poor guy or puppet or whatever he is is just crumpled up in a wheelchair and he talks through an electronic box that could be anybody. So they could be literally using him like a sock puppet. You dig? At any rate. Um, there's an article I wanted to show you guys from geekwire.com. So check this out. For Hawking's 75th birthday... They sent some balloons into space, and I'm going to read the story to you real quick and play you this video. Famed British physicist Stephen Hawking has long wanted to go into space, so what better way to celebrate his birthday than sending him a greeting from near space? Nice. Nice. That is awesome. So here's the picture right there. There's the balloons. Happy birthday, Stephen Hawking. But do you notice anything odd about the entire picture? It sure doesn't look like what NASA tells us, correct? It looks like the sun is really, 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 really close. Well, guess what? It is. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Look at that picture. What do you see? Anything wacky about it? Well, hold on. Let's blow that up real quick. See that picture? Let's take a look in high definition. You notice anything odd about that picture from the sun? Do you see the dot right directly in the middle? Just like the one I was telling you about. Just like the one in the Freemasonic images of the two towers, Jackine and Boaz, with the black hole sun right there. Do you see that? Yeah. That's queer. No? Yeah? Well, hold on. It's going to get worse. Now, this was a picture somebody took and sent me way back in September. September, and it looks to be like a portal is opening directly in front of the sun, right? Okay, hold on. And here's video I took just the other day with a can with a Nikon P900. Do you see this big white thing that's moving around in front of the sun? I know it's hard to keep the camera stable while it's zoomed out. I'm still working on getting a tripod, but do you see this large white item? That is some sort of a thing that floats around. I told you about this before, and since I put the video out back in, like, I don't know, before September, I got a ton of videos from all sorts of people. This white object in front of the sun moves around, but it never leaves. This white ball kind of bounces around in the front of this thing. So hold on. My theory is the portal is in the sun or the sun is going to open up, or something to that effect. And that's why, while the AWAKE project, while all the Hadron Colliders are running at the same time feverishly right now, the portal they're trying to open is going to open in front of the sun. And I think this picture from Hawking kind of backs it up a little bit. This was a video captured by another YouTube channel called The Zion Warrior, and I got his permission to use it. And you can clearly see this item in the middle. Now a lot of people like to say that this was a uh, this was a this was a built-in feature that cameras use to keep the lenses from being damaged. The only problem is I've debunked that using a Nikon P900, an Apple iPhone 5, 6 and 7, a uh, Canon Rebel, blah 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 so on and so forth. This video that he caught clearly has an item in the middle of the sun, right there. And it's moving. Not only is it moving, but it reflects in the water. You know what I mean? This is absolutely crazy. And I think that they're showing this for a particular reason. I think they're talking to each other once again. Now, I could be totally wrong. I've been wrong many times before. I mean, I was married once for crying out loud. You know, it happens. But I can't help but think that GeekWire, much like Space.com or any of the other big websites, wouldn't have noticed that right there in the middle of the sun. I mean, for crying out loud, they're, they're framing the photo right there. 
and I notice that there's barely any curvature back here, if any at all. Now, I'm not exactly a flat earther, but I'm starting to get a lot of information that's pointing directly in that direction, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because I can literally zoom out to a ship on the Atlantic Ocean that's 18 miles out in the shipping lane and then zoom in with my camera and I can still see the water meeting the ship's hull, so forth and so on. I can zoom in on the moon like no tomorrow, but it's 189,000 miles away. I don't know about that. What I am saying is I believe that the sun and the center of the sun and the reason that they cover the sun up every single solitary day is because the center of the sun is activating. I think their job, I think what they're doing at CERN is working. So this is the video of them launching this uh, balloon to space for whatever reason. And there it goes. And there it goes. Balloons are going up. There you go. And there we go. There we go. And there you see it. Right directly there in the middle of the sun. Either that's a solar simulator or there's a portal opening in the center of the sun. This is their video, not mine. Don't you think if they didn't want us to see this or if they weren't hinting at it, they wouldn't show it? Instead, they frame it perfectly. And look at that very, very flat horizon. There's no two ways about it. I mean, look at that. There's no curvature there at all. It's completely, totally flat. And then here comes the sun. And there's the item in the center going right by. And there it is again. I mean, come on. It has to be. Everybody's catching this anomaly on film, and it isn't the camera. Not at all. And ever since all this stuff occurred, half the time when you see the sun, there's that weird anomaly that I showed you earlier in it. That's not accurate. That's not correct. And look what happens when the, look how small the sun gets when the balloon passes in front of it. Watch this. See it? See it right there? Watch. Son of a, hold on. Here we go. Sorry about that. I'm not very technical. This is phenomenal footage, though. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Zero curvature. This is for a physicist. They're showing this to us on purpose. Just my opinion. There goes the sun again. 92,051 feet. At any rate, leave it in the comment section. Richie from Boston, I am out. Much like the air in that balloon. They're rubbing it in our faces, people. Believe your eyes. Don't believe NASA. NASA is nothing but lies. Let me remind you of one small thing real quick. This is one of the head scientists captured from Nazi Germany, Werner von Braun, who warned us of the final card, the alien deception, blah, blah, blah. That's his grave site marker. This is the guy that sent rockets to the moon, remember? Well, then there's Psalm 19. Now, what does Psalm 19 say? 19.1? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Why would a guy that sent things to outer space choose that particular Bible verse to put on his grave? Richie from Boston, make up your own mind. I am out. Like, share, subscribe.